Hi, my name's Thomas. I'm from Pizzeria Bufala. And I've come down to Food Truck Masters today to uh, see the progress of my first ever food truck. Oh. My goodness. That's what we like. That's what we like. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable. I'm dabbling in the food truck business for the first time. Feels like the right time when you look at the, the growth of the industry, but uh, no. Traditionally a banker, 14 years as a banker. Um, so I've just come back from Italy, actually. Um, so I've been training over in Naples um, under Enzo Esposito, the maestro pizza. Give me loads of confidence. And uh, I just can't wait to get started now. It's amazing to actually see the van. Yeah, yeah, so last year, um, when I decided I was going to get serious, I, I actually went to quite a few shows and exhibitions and spoke to a lot of, of food truck builders. Um, I have to be honest, I was scarred from a few, um, just being brutally honest. They, they were very salesy, and there's a lot of companies these days that are trying to push you down the, the fiberglass route, and you know, the replicas, you know, don't get an original van, we'll build a replica out of fiberglass. And, there's also a lot that are trying to push down the trailer route because it's, it's more cost effective for them and there's more margins in it. So, you know, don't get a running van with a beautiful engine and whatever else, get yourself a, a trailer and you can take it wherever you like. And there's quite a few companies doing that now, both in the UK and I think China and other places. Came over um, between Christmas and New Year, can you believe, when these guys were working like you would not believe. I said I'd only be at 20 minutes, so I'll just have a quick look around and I was here for hours like a, a kid in a toy shop really, just looking at all the different vans and all the different stages of production. And um, yeah, this was the obvious the obvious option for me. And I think you get what you pay for. You know, the, the, the love and the care and the attention that they put into these vans is second to none. Yeah, I wouldn't go anywhere else. Yeah. I've just snuck an extra appliance in. Pretty big. And uh, bless him, Chip's trying to figure out how that's now going to affect the sinks, the plumbing, the electrics, everything. We found a way to make it work. It's an, it's an interesting one really in terms of the time scale. I, listen, I'd love to be trading at some point during the summer but I think when you come down and you see just how hard the boys are working here and just how many vans they're trying to get through and you know, you've got the complexities of the, the global pandemic, you've got um, you know, the issues that we've had with Brexit and, and trying to get source materials and whatnot and then just to throw an extra spanner in the works you've got Putin uh, making things a little bit difficult as well so when you think about all those external factors I think the guys are doing an amazing job here and um, you know I don't want them to rush that's for sure these vans need a lot of love like I said a lot of care and a lot of attention and as far as I'm concerned you know take your time and do it right and, uh, and I'm sure we'll end up with a fantastic van at some point in the summer uh, but no, no rush from me no pressure at all um, it's just amazing to come down and see how much is going on um, it's incredible really how hard the guys are working in all stages of production you know there's vans here that have just started the journey there's some that I'm sure will be going out very soon and it's just amazing to see it all from start to finish.